and good morning. Uh, for me, it is day five of self-isolation. Um, a few things changed here in the UK yesterday with bars and restaurants and a few more things shutting down. Um, so it's all starting to change now, which we expected. Um, what else have I forgot to tell you? I did my first live YouTube um, video yesterday. Oh my gosh, it was so much fun. I had so much fun. Thank you to everybody that turned up. Sorry um, to those of you that missed, um, couldn't get back for it in time. So I am going to do another live one. I'm going to try and do it a bit later on in the day so that, you know, you can all try and take part. But it was so much fun. Oh my goodness me. I'm hooked. I'm addicted. I want to do them all the time. I just want to sit here with you and do a live um, video. So I, Charles is going to try and climb up and I've got stuff in front of me. So um, I have got my hello book here with me and I've got a few hellos to say. Um, so firstly, hello to you all. So um, if I miss you or somehow I've not said hello, then hello from me and the Mr. Charles. Um, so I'd like to say hello to Claire Sykes. Um, hi, Claire. Um, Claire has been one of my subbies for a long time. And Claire has a 13-year-old daughter who is high risk. And it's a very difficult time for Claire at the moment because her daughter has been in hospital and she's not been able to visit, which... I can't imagine that's you know not even funny um, but hopefully she's home on Sunday so we'll keep our fingers crossed that she's home back with you so obviously your anxiety has not been very good um, but we are all sending out love to you and to, to everybody and let's hope she comes home on Sunday um, then uh, Liz Nixon um, she's from Canada um, she's told us a little bit more um, about her her life and she has a 15 year old grandson who is was is due to have a massive um, operation surgery that he desperately needs and she's hoping and praying that her, his surgeon stays well so obviously a very worrying time for her as well I mean we all have worries some of us have extra added worries on top and you know it's a very very anxious time um, so let's hope that everything goes all right with grandson surgery. Keep us updated, Liz, um, and Claire as well. Um, Jackie McFall, hi, my darling. Um, you've told us a little bit more about you and your life, and Jackie's husband is a postman, um, which, okay, he's outside and walking around, but when he's sorting mail, he's inside, so she's a little bit worried, not a little bit, a lot worried, because of social contact. Um, but he has to, it's his job. Um, so she's self-isolating and then worrying he's going to, you know, come home and, and um, bring it back home with him. So, you know, we're sending out positive vibes to you and thoughts to you too, my lovely. Um, Michelle Summer, um, just a little message. Can you email me, please, at the email below for the free digital kit? And for those of you that haven't seen, I think it was day two... Um, I am offering digital kits for free um, from my Etsy store. So go back and watch number day two if you haven't seen it. But Michelle, could you email me, please? And then I will send you the kit that you would want. OK, um, she also is in the state of California, which have now gone into complete lockdown. Um, so things have changed dramatically for her um, in the last 24 hours. Um Crafty Ali Creates has triplet girls age 10. Oh my. Firstly, oh my. Um, my Jessica's 10. Imagine having three of Jessica. Mind you, I wouldn't mind. She's adorable. Um, and they have obviously home now. And um, she, um, oh, I forgot to say, I'll come back to that in a minute. So, yeah, she has three triplet, three girls um, at home. She's got lots of work to do from home. Um, for them and she set up a little work area like a little mini school in her house for them so um i'm sure you'll you'll have your work cut out for you there and, and talking of school and teachers claire sykes um is also a school teacher so um 
you know, she's not only is she going through what she's going through personally, but also all her school children. She doesn't know when she's going to see them. So that must be really, really hard. Um, and then, hi, Tracy Kelly. Um, her mum is 73, and they are both self-isolating. They are isolating at home. Um, then we have Karen Hicks. So, hi, Karen. Um, she's self-isolating. And we have a couple of birthdays to mention. We have um, Mindy uh, Ap Apodoton. Her birthday was Thursday, and obviously couldn't go out and get a cake or anything, and... So it must have been a very quiet birthday. And also Cheryl Beckett was her birthday yesterday. Um, and she couldn't even see her daughters, which not good, is it? And then we've got Mother's Day coming up as well. So, um, but Cheryl Beckett did get some wine. So I hope you had a drink for us all. Um, so those are my hellos for today. Hello and love to you all. Thank you for keeping me updated on your life and what's going on. Um, you know it's all very good and helpful to you know to to keep talking about everything um i have lots of things bits and bobs to do today keep you busy if you missed the live video um yesterday um i have got another book and these are our idea books my idea book which has lots of ideas for you all to keep you busy while we're doing self-isolating so if you missed it um you can go back to yesterday's live video and see the suggestion of things to do and we're adding more and more and more as we go along so what i will be doing is as we come up with more ideas um i will tell you about them um so we've got 22 ideas at the moment to keep you busy while we're self-isolating and in a minute um I'm going to pause the video and then come back because I've got something else very important to tell you about. So keep watching and I will see you in a second. Right, everyone, I am back. Now, I hope you can see me. I've moved my chair back um, for this little segment. Let me move nearer just for a minute. Um, something <coughs> quite important. Um, <coughs> excuse me. I'll start coughing. Um, a little important thing while we are self isolating um, it's very important that we get some exercise now um, some of you are not even allowed out of your house so it's very difficult um, some of us are not able to go out anyway you know we are have health issues I'm not a fitness instructor by no means so please um, I'm not trying to be a fitness instructor but I think it's very important that we um, try and keep things moving a little bit so i've come up with a plan it's craft chair aerobics now this is a little fun section for you please don't laugh at me because i'm not the most fittest and i'm not going to be leaping around so don't worry these are all things that you can do i'm going to move my chair back um whoa. while you are sitting now first of all let me come here first for a minute just imagine you've just sat for two hours crafting because what else are we going to do, right? Housework, well, who wants to do that? So with sitting crafting, we're a bit achy, we're a bit stiff. We don't want everything to freeze up. We don't want, my hair is mental. We don't want to freeze up. We don't, we need to keep, you know, things moving a little bit. So these are very, very gentle, stretchy exercises just so that we don't get too stiff. Okay. So you know you don't have to stand up to do these exercises if you can only sit then we're going to do them sitting down so uh, and please do not overexert yourself please excuse me this is my workout gear um so first of all so just imagine we've just been sat for two hours and we're i just don't want to hit that um we're a bit stiff and we're a bit sort of seized up well we don't want that we might have months of this so all we're going to do is we're just going to um, sit, put our back up straight and your neck up straight. And all we're going to do is just move things a little bit. So this is craft chair aerobics, guys. Don't laugh at me. So first of all, we're just going to move our neck. We're going to start from our head and we're just going to move our neck. So we're going to go down 
and then to the left and then back to the right and then down again and then up see we're just moving our neck it's all we're doing nothing we're not overexerting ourselves and we're going to do that again so we're going to go down with our head left back right and then down now we don't really have to do too many warm-up exercises before we do this because this is really these are very light stretchy exercises just to keep us so we're not too stiff okay so we're going to do this do that one more time so with your neck we're going to go down to the left to the back to the right and then down again and then up okay so that's your neck is it feeling a bit better are we feeling a little bit more limber up okay so now we're going to start we're going to do our shoulders okay so try and get your back straight get your posture straight and then all we're going to do is just roll the shoulders back and round them there down by my side you can't see them um but they are down by my side and we're just going to roll them all the way around that's it and then down and then we're going to roll them again all the way down that's it ready charles is looking at me as if to say mom what on earth are you doing we're going to go back again roll them all the way around and down okay so that's our shoulders we're just and then we're going to do the two together like this we're just gonna roll them roll them roll and again and one more set there you go are you feeling a little bit more limbered up i am i'm definitely feeling it a little bit it's just getting everything moving just a little bit okay so now what we're going to do we're going to take our arms and we're just going to stretch them as now some of us excuse my finger wings look at that it wouldn't be very good for a video please don't laugh at me i don't know what comments i'm going to get i don't care we're just trying to keep exercising a little bit just a little bit so arms up in the air with your bingo wings if you have them and just a little stretch do a little wave that's it i can't even get mine back up that high see so just do what you are able to do do not overexert yourself just up and then down again okay oh i felt that one see i'm not the most agile and i have mobility problems trust me so it's important i know to not seize up and i know from you know when i get really poorly and i'm you know i have fibromyalgia so you know it's very hard when we sit for a long time and oh my goodness me so right we're going to do that again i waffled so we're just going to go up as high as you can go hold it just for a couple of seconds do a little wave and then we're going to bring them down okay so bingo wings in the air ladies ready one more time ready bingo wings up there you go we can do it and bingo wings down okay so not too we're not over exerting ourselves too much now you can't see my legs because um they're down here now all i'm going to do with my legs my feet are both on the floor my knees are in front of me and i'm just going to lift one of my knees up and i'm holding it with this hand and i'm just holding it one two seconds and we're going to go down again i'm going to do it with the other leg so we're just pulling the knee up and we're holding it for one two and down once more on the other side with your right leg up holding it i'm just holding it you can't see look you can't see i'm holding it I'm holding it don't pull it right up to there just pull it up a little bit hold one two and then we do it the other one ready one two and then down on the ground and then do a little hold yourself upright put your back forward your back forward your back your shoulders back i should say and we're just gonna hold our posture for a minute and just breathe <sighs> wasn't that better now if you want to and you feel up to it i'm gonna move back with this one let me move my chair out of the way if you feel up to it we can stand up now 
okay so if you feel up to standing then just stand and we're just going to just put our hands on our waist and we're just going to turn forward one and then back and then we're going to do the other side and then back and then again and then back and then to the side no i'm not perfect it doesn't look perfect you don't have to go fast we're just going to go slow okay oh i can feel my hips aching you know usually i feel like a 90 year old okay and if you feel up to it now we're just going to lift one knee up and hold it one two hold on to something if you want don't forget you've got your craft table one two and down and then we're going to do it with the other leg one two and down and once more one two down and then again one two now if you can only do the sitting bit just do the sitting bit all right that's it and we're just going to do one more stretch up into the air big stretch with the bingo wings down with the bingo wings down the side and then once more up with the bingo wings down with the bingo wings now that's enough that's all we're doing so this is craft chair aerobics okay do you feel better do you feel like you've done a workout but you know what you're not going to seize up okay i know i probably looked ridiculous and did not do it like the professionals i am not a professional these are very very light exercises that anyone can do hopefully anyone can do if you're not able to do the standing up one but if you're sitting at a craft table then we can just do those little light stretches just so we don't freeze up charlie i know you're looking at me as if to say mama what are you doing come here then oh she's so beautiful he's a beautiful boy and he doesn't like this new oh oh come on then come on then beautifuls he's on my knee look you can't see him there here he is he's my beautiful boy oh look people <laughs> Is mummy not doing her grafting? We will later. We are going to do something later. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I will be back um, in a bit because I've got a box to sort out on my desk. Um, and I want to have a look what's in there and see if we can maybe um, find a little project to do as well in a bit. Um, and tomorrow I think I will do a live video if you're all up for it so um this is the little exercise bit now really we should have done the crafting then done the stretchy bit on the whatever but you've got the gist okay i don't want you to get stiff and immobile because we're sat crafting so there are lots of things we can actually do i've also found some books that i want to show you that i might have um some little things to do so i need to clear my desk so that's the next task so i'm going to turn the camera around and we're going to get on and do a few bits today all right so i hope you enjoyed that craft chair aerobics i'm going to set a craze just okay see you in a minute hi everyone i am back um right okay now just clear my desk for that i have been tidying up a little bit i found this container full of things so i thought I might as well, these are things that we can do while we're in isolation, is sort through um, our boxes and things that we haven't seen the light of day for a long time. So, um, what is in this box? So, oh my gosh, I got this off of eBay. It is one of the Tim Holtz um, stamp sets and it is never been used, I think, or maybe once. But it has some really gorgeous enjoy the journey tickets oh my gosh love this never used it yet so that has to go on the we need to use list um found a bingo book that um i thought would be fun to you know do some a little project with them maybe for little things to tuck in journals so um that's another thing oh these are um scans that i did of a book um, and I was cutting these out to go on, um, where's my, I'll show you what I was doing with this. Now, all I did was, this was a book, and it's just absolutely stunning. I didn't want to rip the pages up and use the pages, so I just literally copied the pages. And then what I've been doing, you'll see here, 
is in the evening I just sit oh where are you and cut these out look at these gorgeous ladies look at these so these are going to be on some projects that I'm going to be doing um actually I'm going to put that on my desk because oh, I've got I tell you what I've got those um book page pockets that um now these would be too big for them um these ladies here but some of the smaller ones would be great for the book page projects you know like these ones here um would be fantastic so maybe we can get a project finished um later on um or try some on the book pages i think that would be a plan i've got them in front of me um ready to i've sewn them so they just need decorating so these need to go in a um file folder thingy um so that when i get time to cut them out so that's to do that's a book page that needs to go in my book page thing um that needs to go in my paper files right we're sorting out now look at this wallpaper that i had um oh, i have and i never used it it's just look beautiful so I tell you what we'll tie this wallpaper in with these cutouts and the book pages so that will get us using some of these things There's another one there um this is just gorgeous wallpaper Oops, like that and this one as well so i tell you what these and the cutouts and the book pages we will use um in the next project um i found these die cut pieces um but they're like chipboardy um die cuts so what i need to do is pop them all out and put them in with my die cuts so we'll tell you what we'll do we're going to go through this and instead of just saying we are going to we will do it okay so that needs to be popped out so i can put that in my thing um oh vellum i was looking for vellum the other day and i went and bought some i know exactly where that's going with my vellum oops i'm gonna pop that over here behind me it won't go it won't go because i've got too much in there so sorry guys i'm just finding a that's it, I've put it over with the other vellum. Um, this is a paper bag that I thought I could use for something. I think what I might do is just put that in my paper drawer. And then we can put that... Oh, look, a post bag. That needs to go in the post bags. I have these wallets that go in a folder, which I don't know where the folder is. They had dies in. Um, right, we've got cardstock to go in the cardstock drawer um, that we can rip and get rid of the rubbishy bits. Oh, look, I've got a little tag to go in my finished tags. Purses, why have we got purses in here? Oh, and I've got a, a little notebook there as well that can come out. Um, oh, what's that doing in here? Oh, that was one of my cards from Joanne that needs to go in my um, things that I collect. Are the, the little Oh, CD wallets. What did I want these CD wallets for the other day? Oh, something. Cardstock. Right, these bits, look, they need to be put in the bin. Got these um, fun things. Well, these can go. These are stickers. This needs to go in my sticker drawer. Um, more cardstock here, so let's just get rid of the little bits. Ribbon. Oh, we've got these fun, like, stickers. Right, tell you what, we'll use them as well with our book pages. We can get using those. Oh, these are for the kids, these. We've got the little poppers. Stickers go in the sticker drawer. I've got lots of cardstock here to be sorted out to go in the cardstock. Um... These are wallpaper pieces. Oh, look at these. Look, these are wallpaper um, cutouts. So, these would be great on as tags, wouldn't they, really? Oh, look at these, look. These are just beautiful. Like that, I need to put over there. Oh, uh, that's supposed to go over there that's one of my cards 
Right, we've got cardstock here. Lots of cardstock. I think this was originally a cardstock um, box. Oh, this was vintage. It was off a pack of playing cards. So it needs to go in my paper thing. Right, all of these wallpaper pieces, we could maybe put them to be used as well. Oh, I made him. Many, many years ago, I made him. Oh, how cute is he? Look, he's all grubby now. He could sit on my shelf maybe somewhere. Right, so I think... Oh, look, we've got a little pack of playing cards as well. So they can go in my playing card things. Oh, look at these. I've printed out for um, some projects. Now, this was a vintage uh, file that I was going to do of vintage ladies. I was doing a digital kit and I never, ever got around to finish it. Um, look, aren't they beautiful? Um, I need to do something with these really as well. So I tell you what, they can go in the pile of things to use. And we should use, look, there's loads of them. Maybe I need a folder for these actually. Look, I have got loads of them. And these are just beautiful. They're on vellum. There's some vellum sheets there. I think I'll put these in a file um, to keep them safe. Right, another job to do in a file. Oh, come on. Right, this is very th very therapeutic. Now this has to go. Oh, look, I found another one of them very handy folders. Never have enough of those. Got some beads here that can go in my bead drawer. I think there's some more of those. Here, so I'm going to get a folder, just a plastic folder to put all of these in to keep them safe and we will do a project with them. So these, this is all just cardstock that needs to be um, sorted out into the cardstock. So what I'm going to do, some little photos down as well, is um, I will sit one afternoon and we will... Um, put these all into the right section sort of packets that I have so this is all cardstock and some of this can be you know these silly bits can be just thrown out um, I don't know why I'm keeping those bits I need to be ruthless right cardstock in here to be sorted out and all of the rest I can actually put away so we actually got somewhere didn't we really and I know where these are now, so I need to, I must finish this digi file because these are just gorgeous um, images. Look at this one. I don't know if you can see her properly. Where's a bit of card? Where's a bit of card, you know? Let's put her on this paper here if you can see her. Isn't she beautiful? And these, there's lots of these girls. They're just gorgeous. Aren't they beautiful? Um, look at that on there. Even on coffee dyed paper. That looks amazing. Doesn't that look gorgeous on coffee dyed paper? Right, I'm going to do a project with these. And not just say I'm going to do it. I'm actually going to do it. So... Let's put all these to one side. I've got my wallpaper to use. So instead of sorting it out, putting it away and never seeing it again, let's actually use some of these things that we find. So in the next few days, you must be telling me off if I haven't got the wallpaper out. These girls um, and the wallpaper here, this wallpaper, and also, um, not that, those and those right so we need to be making projects with them the rest of the stuff i am going to put away so we've done a little bit of sorting out and i'll be back in a bit to do a little project with you and that will be end the day um with a project for you so i hope you've enjoyed it so far today keep watching um for the next for the next tutorial Right, everyone, so um, I literally just went and had a quick cup of coffee and um, we are going to use some of those things that we just pulled out that box because 
what is the point of you know yeah we're sorting it out but if we don't use it we're not really achieving anything so these are all things that are on my desk from sorting that box out and i'm determined to use some of it so we have the stamp set from tim holtz um we have an old book page some bag a piece of old ephemera that i found some coffee dyed paper these images that i had from um the book that i um had and have been um using so we've got some of those but i have some that already cut out so let me that's what we found these um these stickers some wallpaper and um, we have some other images here we have this um lot of um wallpaper so we've got those to use let me put them to one side because i've got a packet there as well i'm going to move these things out of the way right okay and then i also have um some stamps which this is a little book that i saw wendy's journal journaling adventures do and it's a little look at this this is so cute it's a little um flip up book that you i might do a tutorial on it if not i'll put the link for wendy it's just amazing i've got to make more so we've got some stamps as well and um i've got my book page pockets that i had um made the other day on camera and i've basically sewn them all so we're going to use them and um i've got a few sort of bits of ribbon and things as well so let us put these in piles so we can figure out that this is just going to be as we can do it and ignore me if i dither sometimes because sometimes that's how i work right let's put one piece of wallpaper here so we're not overwhelmed with it um, right let us get our um book pages here in front of us so let's get a couple of different styles um that's a nice one i mean i did these the other day and they're just me decorating basically so let's get a couple out here this is a little envelope this is a little pocket now where did i put let's pull out some of these little images and let's just have a little play around with what we think is going to work now there's some small ones in here somewhere come out come out to wherever you are they might be too big actually um we shall see right they're the smaller ones we can take these big ones away because these will not i mean she would fit but you'd have to cut her down um these are too big i think all right let me just put these bits here get the big ones out of the way um so let's have a look she may work if we cut her down we shall see huh um so this is a great way to you know use some of those things that you've got in your drawers but you're also sorting your drawers out as well so right i'm going to work on this one first i think so let's she's a little bit big i don't like her oh i like her now isn't she beautiful right so that's one we have got that's she's pretty as well isn't she oh, let's move these out of the way i'm not sure if they're going to fit on any of the other ones no no what we could do then i tell you what we'll do let's just do two of these ones for now um now what we're going to put behind we've got this old book page which we could use um some of these images so i think we could rip down here i'm gonna rip around
this is a pretty one. I like this flower here. Not sure about the red though. What if we moved it over? Is that too much, do you think? So that looks quite nice just by itself, really. Maybe we could use that by itself. See, as we go along, I don't know about the red though. I think we're going to take that red out. That's better, isn't it? Right, okay, let me get my distressing. And that's. I hope that, um, you know, this is giving you lots of ideas of things that we can be doing. Go there. Let's just ink around the edges of this while we're it's a bit white. It's a bit too clean looking. Let's just grubby her up a little bit. Yep, that will work. That one there. And then let's do this one as well. She looks very clean. We don't want her looking clean. We want her looking a bit grubby, don't we? Right. That's that one. This is quite nice as well. So that's... Find another one that that small one could go on. Right, we have these. I don't know what these are. Stickers, I think. Um, yeah, let's see what these look like. Um, on the... I'm sure I received these in Happy Mail. In fact, I'm certain I did. Right. Go oops, there. Let's have a look what we've got here. Oh, that's connected to them, and I've just ripped it. Never mind. We will correct it somehow. Oh, we don't want to grab any scissors. I ripped it off in the wrong place. Look, so what we're going to do, we are not going to waste it. I'm just going to cut that. Where did that go? Oh, right, okay, I'm just going to put that there for a second. Looking good, Chanel. I've got this great big one as well here. I'm not going to stick these down just yet. We're just going to play around with a few things. We need something else on there, but that would look good, I think. We're all in shop. We are, we are. Right, so we've got a little one here. Maybe we could put that down there. Okay. Right. What else do I have here? Um. Oh, okay, what am I doing? thinking I need an old book page or something else music paper that's what I need music paper bear with me one second let me just grab a piece of music paper the good old music paper right this is where our little packet of 
um, bits comes in handy and these packets I always put music paper in here or you know bits and pieces so we definitely need music paper I like music paper it gives us that little bit of a something 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 right let's rip some of this up We didn't say we couldn't add things to it. We just said that um, we had to use some of the things that we had. That's what we had to do. So that was the whole meaning of today was to... I was thinking if we could have a piece in the corner like that. Look, just to break it up a little bit. I like that actually. Um, right, okay. Uh, I don't like that bit of music paper. It's got too many notes on it. It's too too squiggly wiggly. Right, we've got some writing here. Let's just make this a little bit. Like that. And I don't want to waste any of this letter. Just get all your bits out, you know. Just have a little bit of a rummage through things. Um, you know, we didn't say you couldn't use other bits and pieces. We just said, you know, we have to use those bits that we have sorted out. Be all ruffled up and put on there somehow. Don't know. We'll see in a minute. We're just playing at the moment. I am just having a little rummage in my fabricy sort of bits. That's very pretty, actually. Don't know. I'm not sure about that one yet. If we moved these bits up and put a little bit of that flower looks a bit funny, doesn't it? Because it's three. Like, what I might do is kind of put that on the edge like that and cut it down. I think I don't know, I just don't like the pokey outfits that's what it is right that will do on that one and we'll grunge that one up so let's get putting them together right up. let's get my little book out that i do my gluing on we haven't grunged this one up yet have we i want to rip some of that as well i love it when you've you've sat here and you've you know created and then you sit back afterwards and you're like oh my gosh look what i've done how much have i made in that little bit of a time i might i see what this looks like i might actually cut this down a little bit oh i've got some stamps as well don't i so they always, um, yeah, I'm going to probably trim that up a little bit. So, let's do this. Let's do it. Right. Let's pop that down there. And then we're going to put some Fabri-Tac down. For the fabric, it's going to go there. Hmm. 
Where is my cloth? Where's my cloth? Here. Oh, it's all like gone all hard because it's all had loads of glue on it. I just used my old flannels and then um, chuck them away because the glue goes all hard and crispy. It didn't come out very good in the wash. Right, so we've done that. Where's my flower gone? I think we should have that on the corner like that and then we can then cut down the bit we want to cut down. Right. Put that on like that and then what I'm going to do is just cut those bits off wherever my old scissors are. Let's just cut this off. There you go. And do that. Oops, I didn't put my lid on, did I? Now that needs a word or something. It needs something on it. It's missing something. What have I got in my drawer here? I'm sure I've got some words that we can use. Or, oh, hang on a minute. I've got my Tim Holtzy books here. I've got my Tim Holtz. So I've got these ones. Um... Let's try this one. This one looks quite cute. Oh, wow. Uh, hmm. I think we need something a bit darker, maybe. Let's have a look. Uh, let's do... How about Inspire? Oh, uh, now I don't know what to do. It doesn't look right on there. <laughs> okay, we need a bigger word. We need a bigger word of some sort or something. Why is it so hard sometimes? It's not hard, you know, you're just making it hard. Right. What about one of these? Let's have a look. Happiness. I made that one difficult, didn't I? Silly me. Right, we're just going to rip that off. These are just my printed words. Um, happiness. I see that looks better, doesn't it? There you go. Um, right, what can I put behind it? I have this. Now this is, you know the tumble dryer sheets? Um... <laughs> I tea dyed them. You know, after you get them out the tumble dryer and um, you throw them away normally. So I tea dyed them and they come out quite nice, actually. Look, these are just tea dyed tumble dryer sheets. You know that you, the scented ones, get off me um, that you have. Oh, look at that. That looks much, much better. It just pops out. I don't know if you can see that. Um, so I'm going to stick that down. <clears throat> A little bit of glue there. And then stick that down on top. Oh, I've just put that all over my hand. All right. And, oh, not upside down. I'm just going to put that on there. And then the only thing I've got to do, really, is just ink this up a bit. There you go. That is one. One done. And then you've got a nice little pocket 
for your journals. Look at that. that. Maybe we could use the um, wallpaper and make a tag. See, that's not glued down enough. That's an idea, isn't it? What we could do is the pockets, we could use the wallpaper and we'll make tags for them um, to go in. So we'll do that in a minute. Let's just finish these four off. So we've got one done and down. Um, put that one over there. One down, three to go, or four to go actually. Right. This one we've kind of nearly done anyway. So let's um, put these bits down on here. This glue stick is pants actually. It's quite, um, I don't know, it's alright once you get it going sort of thing, but oh I didn't ink that did I never mind we're going to ink around anyway I never usually do things in order I tell you I'm terrible I'm like oh I forgot to do that or I forgot to do that put that there for a minute we have inked her up so she's going to go there. I like that there. And where was the other bit of thing I had? Oh, where did it go? There it is. Now, this is just a piece of... What we could do is just grunge that up a little bit. Put that down on there. I like that. This is... Um, I don't even know what that is or where I got that from and then maybe we could put a bit of lace on top of that let me see if I can find a little bit of lace or something like skinny lace or something let's see from here let's have a look or is that too much hmm not sure they're quite cute as well, aren't they? Nope, too much now, too much. I quite like that. Nope. I like that, just like that, to be honest with you. Um sometimes we I think I try and do too much on a project and I think mm, you don't really need to you don't always need to put loads of things on them we can always add later if we need to there we go and then we're going to put some of this down the bottom here I like that that's all like foo-foo, you know, all like frayed cool. I like this one. It's weird, when you do project your, yourself, you look at it and you think, oh, it's not very good. But, you know, if you was to give it to someone, they'd be like, oh, I really like that. Unless they're just being polite. No, but you know what I mean? You always think to yourself, oh, it doesn't look right. Or there's something that we could have done or something i'm thinking actually let me get my um ink pad out because i was thinking maybe what we could do i said i would use the tim holtz stamp set which is here and maybe what about Just wondering. Just bear with me. It's either going to work or it's not going to work. It may work. It might not work. Which way does this go round? Oh, no, that's... 
12, 1. Okay, so it goes that way. I don't want to put my clock upside down. Oh. Okay, let's just do... I just want to... Uh, this might work, it might not work. Oh, see, look, it's not very good for stamping, but it looks good, doesn't it? See, we've used the stamps as well, look. I oh, really like that now, actually. Just that little thing has just added to it, hasn't it? Look. Oh, I really like that now. Right, number two done. And we got to use one of the stamps. So, we are cooking on full full gas is no cooking on gas cooking on i don't know what the saying is right let's figure this one out so we have we have we have a flower a fleur a fleur a little bit of fabric we need to ink this up because it's too white it's too white um maybe a stamp maybe we could stamp something on here as well. And then let's have a look what stamps we have. Uh, what did I just do with it? Let's have a look what other one we have. Um, this one here. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe I'm terrible. I never clean my stamps. No. That I'm terrible, I'm not really an organized crafter, am I? Not really. Um, it's funny actually because, like, you know, normally I do tutorials and they're all planned and everything, but it seems that you seem to all like the ones that you just I'm a bit dithery at, <laughs> which this is what I'm like when I'm. Why was that not? Oh, it is. Right, okay. Let's just stamp. I'm going to stamp a little bit here. Oh, that didn't come out very good, did it? It's upside down as well. Oh, well, we messed that one up. Never mind what we were saying. Oh, well. That doesn't look very good. I didn't do a very good job on that one. Never mind, you know what? It still looks good. No one's going to notice that the four is upside down. It does not matter. And that one, it just looks all right. It still looks all right. Look, it is upside down though, look. So, never mind, never mind. What we could have actually done is, as it's that way round, maybe have the pocket, that pocket going that way. You know, when it's in a journal... We couldn't have her on it though. Tell you what, let's just switch that one out. We don't want to waste it. This is what happens when we do boo boos. Boo boo. Um, it's fine. It's all good. That one still looks okay. Um, I don't know why that didn't come out very good. It was probably just me being a dingbat. Never mind. Never mind, Chanel. Um. Could do this one on there instead. I think it's just me. I'm not. Um, oh, this one seems all right. Admit one, so that goes that way. Right, let's put that across there. Admit one. I've got her on there got that like that and maybe we could use a stamp I think maybe let's have a look let's just find a lovely old stamp oh if I can get them out hmm. oh I love this one of my favorite stamps this one oh come on this is, oh, come on. 
Look at that. That's the Queen Mother and King George. Isn't it lovely? Oh, I love that stamp. It's one of my favourite stamps. <clears throat> and this is... <coughs> Oh, we use that one. I like that one. Right. That's better. That's better. We're getting somewhere. That looks good. I like the green on there. Liking that a lot. Let's put that up there in a minute. And let's get these stuck on. I don't know what happened. I dithered a bit there. Um, glue. Right. Okay. I'm just going to put all of these bits. Um, I hope you're all okay um, and coping and getting all your supplies and everything and, um, you know, that we're, we're managing to, to cope with everything, aren't we? We're finding our own ways to, to, to do that anyway, for sure. Um, so I'm going to put there. And then we want some Fabri-Tac because I want to put that a little bit. like that and I'm going to put some on here Oops. like so oh I'm liking that a lot put some more glue down here Thinking of using that stamp on that one, maybe. Put me my stamp back so I don't lose them. Right. Okay, so that one is done. We've done another one. Look how cute they are. I like them a lot. That one I'm going to finish off another day. Um, let's put that back there for a minute. And that. Just make room. Right. So we have this one, and I quite like this as it is. Um, I, I've like you, I've heard I've got this Facebook portal, and it's quite funny because yesterday it didn't stop. Um, Joshy, little Joshy, was just ringing me, just like <laughs> every two minutes he was ringing. Can I tell you a story, Nanny? Oh, it's just so super cute. So I am actually going to get one for the craft room because then I thought, well, if I'm sat crafting and not recording, um, he can sit and talk to me or Franny even called this morning and Nanny, can I tell you a story? <laughs> so I had um little red riding hood this morning. We was doing Incy Wincy Spider yesterday. Um, and it's just adorable. It is such a good way, um, you know, to, to communicate at this very difficult time. Right, okay. Put that on there. And I think that one's good to go. That's four done. And we'll do one more. And then what we could do is maybe, let me just put these papers away. Um, do some tags or something with the wallpaper because at the moment we have used um, we've managed to use uh, the stamps, the Tim Holtz stamps we have also used um, some of the stickers, we've used some of those uh, what else did we use, those um, paper pictures from the other book so we are doing good. We are doing good. Right, let's stick these down. I don't like that bit there. It's jutting out. Like that. I'm going to put this down here. Like so. And what we're going to put on this one, Chanel. Let's have a look and see what I've got in this rummagey box in front of me. Too much, too much. We have that, which is quite nice. 
I'm just actually rummaging around in my um, lacy scrap. Your lacy scraps, or do I want it at the top like that? You know, like covering, because we've got the Pickwick Club there. So what I could actually do is put that on the edge there like that. That looks pretty good. I'm happy with that. Um, I'll just grubby it up a bit. Let's put... That there. That's it. Like that. And cut that off. Like so. That does need something on it though, doesn't it? Um, need something in the middle here. So, tell you what I do have. I have these, which are Shabby Dabby Doodars. Um, I've got to stick this together. Curate, curator's collection. There's some really gorgeous botanicals on here, which were on my desk anyway. Mm, I think these are a bit too big there. They might be a bit big to go on there. Or she does it as a butterfly one as well. So I'm, that's done there because I haven't stuck the envelope together, the, the thing to hold it in. I've just cut them out and I haven't stuck them together yet. I'll show you these in another video properly. Um, there's also the butterfly collection one, which is amazing. And you get all of these in there. So maybe we could have a butterfly I think we could use. Um, that blue one. Oh, I don't know. I think I don't want to cover up the writing. I'll tell you what I'll do. I do fancy a butterfly on it, but I'm going to use one of my um, cut out butterflies, I think, which I forgot about. Where are they? In front of me. Um, why don't we use one of these that we took from um, one of those books yesterday or the day before or whatever day we did it or oh, right in the middle there look at that loving it loving it loving it right um, I just get my And we'll just stick this down. I don't know what, I was just wanting a butterfly on it. I really wanted a butterfly on it. But I didn't want to cover up that writing really. So um, I'll show you those another day. There you go. Doesn't that just look gorgeous, see? And that's just enough. You know, you don't sometimes need too much. Right, I think what we're going to do now is we have done a few of those um just clear that up and i think what we could do now is make some tags to go in them maybe um out of the wallpaper or maybe what i should do is end this here um for today's video and then what i'll do is come back and make some tags with the wallpaper and the other so we can make some tags out of my ladies and also um, the wallpaper that I had. So maybe I'll save that for tomorrow and we'll make some beautiful tags together. But look what we've done. At least we've decorated um, five pockets and um, don't they just look gorgeous? I love them, love them, love them. If you see them all there, look how beautiful they are. They just turned out lovely, love them. Um, so I think what I'll do is love you and leave you today. Um, because you're probably fed up with me now, what with me, me, um, 
craft chair aerobics and all of that so i'll come back tomorrow and do those tags so and um also a couple of other things that i've got to do so um have a lovely day for the rest of your day and i hope that this inspired you to get a box out sort through it but not just sort through it and put it away sort through it and use it let's rediscover what we have so i rediscovered these pictures um you know the other things that i've got there the wallpaper i've got my stamps out i use the um tim holt stamp which i've not used before um these stickers which have been sat in my drawer so we definitely are rediscovering what we've got i hope you've enjoyed it take care for now and i'll see you all tomorrow bye